In the heart of ancient history, two formidable powers emerged, Rome and Carthage. Rome, birthed on the banks of the Tiber River, was more than just a city. It was an idea, a beacon of civilization amidst the wilderness. Its society, structured around a republic, was a fascinating mix of patricians, plebeians and slaves. The Romans, with their indomitable spirit, transformed their small settlement into a thriving hub of politics, culture and military might. Stretching from the sun-soaked hills of Italy to the distant corners of the Mediterranean, a stone's throw across the sea on the North African coast lay Carthage. Founded by Phoenician settlers, Carthage grew into a prosperous maritime power. The society was a melting pot of cultures with a robust economy built on trade. The Carthaginians, much like their Roman counterparts, were known for their resilience and innovation, their influence seeping into the far-flung shores of Spain and Sicily. These two civilizations, both ambitious and proud, initially interacted through trade and diplomacy. But as they expanded, their interests began to overlap, particularly in the fertile lands of Sicily. The island, rich in grain and strategically located, became a bone of contention, fueling the flames of rivalry. Rome's military prowess and Carthage's naval strength were well matched, creating a delicate balance of power. The Romans, with their disciplined legions, were a force to be reckoned with on land. The Carthaginians, on the other hand, ruled the waves with their state-of-the-art warships. This rivalry was not merely about territory or resources. It was a clash of ideologies, a struggle for supremacy between two civilizations that believed they were the epitome of human achievement. These two powers, destined to clash, set the stage for one of the most significant battles in history. As tensions between Rome and Carthage escalated, the path to conflict was inevitable. The rivalry between these two ancient superpowers was more than a century in the making, fueled by politics, economics and strategic positioning. Let's unravel the events leading up to the battle. Rome, a burgeoning republic, was expanding its influence throughout the Mediterranean. Carthage, an established maritime power, controlled lucrative trade routes and colonies. The two powers coexisted uneasily, their relationship fraught with territorial disputes and economic competition. Enter our key figures. From Rome, we have the Scipio family, a lineage of military strategists. Particularly noteworthy was young Scipio Emilianus, a grand strategist with a keen understanding of the Carthaginian mindset. From Carthage, we have the Barker family, led by the indomitable Hannibal, renowned for his audacious crossing of the Alps to attack Rome. The immediate cause of the war was the city of Saguntum. A disputed city, it was allied to Rome, but located in the sphere of Carthaginian influence. When Saguntum was attacked by Carthage, Rome saw it as a direct challenge to their authority. On the political front, Rome and Carthage were polar opposites. Rome was a republic, its citizens participating in governance. Carthage was an oligarchy ruled by a few wealthy families. This stark contrast in political systems was another layer of complexity in their relationship. Economically, both cities were powerhouses. Rome was a land power, its might resting on its legions and the fertile Italian peninsula. Carthage, on the other hand, was a sea power, its wealth derived from trade and its formidable navy. Strategically, control of the Mediterranean was the grand prize. Whoever controlled this body of water controlled the known world. This was a zero-sum game, and neither Rome nor Carthage was willing to share. Thus, the stage was set for a battle that would shape the course of history. A head-on collision was inevitable, a conflict that would decide the fate of two civilizations and redefine the Mediterranean world. The fateful day arrived when the forces of Rome and Carthage met on the battlefield. As the sun rose, both armies, resplendent in their own unique panoply, prepared for the clash that would define an age. The air was thick with anticipation, the tension palpable as the two great powers of the ancient world faced off. Rome, the burgeoning powerhouse of the Mediterranean, had a battle plan that was as straightforward as it was brutal. The Roman legions, famed for their discipline and organization, formed their traditional manipular formation. They advanced steadily, a relentless tide of iron and steel, their shields locked and their short swords glinting in the morning sun. Carthage, on the other hand, relied on a more intricate strategy. 
Their diverse army, a melting pot of cultures from across the Mediterranean, was made up of light infantry, heavy infantry, and the famed war elephants. The Carthaginian general, a master tactician, deployed his forces in a multi-layered formation. He used his light infantry to harass the advancing Romans, while his heavy infantry and elephants waited in reserve, ready to strike at the opportune moment. The battle raged on, a brutal ballet of strategy and violence. Key figures on both sides found themselves in the heat of the action. The Roman consuls, leading from the front, rallied their troops, pushing them forward against the Carthaginian line. The Carthaginian general, meanwhile, manipulated the battlefield like a chessboard, moving his pieces to exploit every Roman weakness. Each side had its moments of triumph, its flashes of brilliance. Yet, as the day wore on, it became clear that Rome's sheer tenacity and discipline were starting to wear down the more diverse but less cohesive Carthaginian forces. In the end, it was Rome's day. Their dogged persistence, their refusal to yield, saw them through to a hard-fought victory. Carthage, though they fought valiantly and with great skill, could not overcome the Roman juggernaut. In the aftermath of the battle, the landscape of the ancient world was forever altered. The Battle of Carthage was not just a clash of armies, it was a clash of cultures, a clash of civilizations. And in its wake, Rome emerged as the dominant power of the ancient world. The echoes of the battle reverberated long after the dust had settled. In the immediate aftermath, Rome stood victorious and Carthage lay in ruins, its powerful navy reduced to splinters, its once thriving economy in shambles. Rome's victory was more than just military triumph, it was a statement of dominance, asserting Rome as the unchallenged powerhouse of the ancient world. But Rome didn't stop at mere military dominance. The city used its newfound power to drastically reshape the political landscape. With Carthage out of the picture, Rome had free reign over the Mediterranean. They expanded their territories, annexing lands far and wide. This territorial expansion not only increased Rome's wealth and influence, but also brought a myriad of cultures under its umbrella, leading to a remarkable period of cultural amalgamation. The cultural changes that followed were equally profound. Rome adopted and adapted elements from the cultures it encountered, enriching its own in the process. The introduction of Hellenistic philosophy, for instance, significantly influenced Roman thought and literature. Meanwhile, Roman law, language and engineering marvels spread to the new territories, leaving a lasting impact on these regions. In the long run, the Battle of Carthage set the stage for the rise of the Roman Empire. The victory demonstrated Rome's military prowess, political acumen and cultural adaptability. These traits would become defining features of the Roman Empire, shaping its character and guiding its expansion over the next few centuries. The battle also had wider implications. It marked the end of the Punic Wars, a series of conflicts that had raged on for over a hundred years. The conclusion of these wars brought a period of relative peace to the ancient world, allowing civilizations to flourish. The Battle of Carthage, a pivotal moment in history, left an indelible mark on the ancient world and beyond. It changed the course of history, setting Rome on a path to empire and leaving a legacy that continues to resonate today in our laws, our culture and our understanding of power and dominance. The Battle of Carthage was more than a clash of military might. It was a turning point in history. In our journey today, we've delved into the intricate tapestry of events that led to this monumental confrontation between Rome and Carthage. We've explored the rich background of these two civilizations, their contrasting strengths and their shared ambitions. Carthage, with its maritime prowess and mercantile wealth, squared off against Rome, a power whose strength lay in its disciplined legions and relentless ambition. The road to war was not a sudden one. It was paved with political maneuverings, escalating tensions and the inexorable march of destiny. The spark that ignited the conflict was a dispute over Sicily, but the flames were fanned by a deeper rivalry, a struggle for supremacy in the Mediterranean. The battle itself, a brutal clash of iron and blood, was a testament to the military strategies of both sides. Roman discipline and determination met Carthaginian ingenuity and resilience on the battlefield. The outcome, while decisive, came at a great cost to both sides, changing the course of their histories forever. In the aftermath, Rome emerged as the dominant power in the Mediterranean. 
its victory in the Battle of Carthage cementing its position. The legacy of this battle resonated through the centuries, shaping Rome's destiny and leaving an indelible mark on the world. Carthage, on the other hand, was reduced to a shadow of its former glory, its once proud civilization brought to its knees. The Battle of Carthage is not just a chapter in history books. It's a story of human ambition, resilience, and the cyclical nature of power. It's a reminder of the impermanence of supremacy and the enduring impact of historical events on the world we live in today. As we look back on the Battle of Carthage, we see not just a historical event, but a testament to the enduring power of history to shape our world.